No one's going to teach you how to code. I'm going to say to you straight, that is the truth. And I stand by that. There's too many coders out there that rely on free code camp, code Academy, YouTube tutorials, even my YouTube channel. And they think to themselves, Oh, I'm watching this YouTube video. That means I'm learning code or I'm doing this tutorial. That means I'm doing a project. Look, the reality of the situation is you are never going to learn code and you're never going to get to the level that you want to be if you're constantly relying on other people to do your work. I learned this firsthand in my personal experiences with both coding and YouTube, especially on YouTube where it's highly com competitive in the coding space. I tried to be like these other YouTubers like Fireship. Like I tried to be like those people, you know, and maybe I copied their style of videos and I'm owning up to it now. Um, I maybe took inspiration for like a thumbnail or two. And I thought that by copying these people, I would gain a huge following. I didn't. Why? Because I didn't learn how to do it the right way. The only way you can learn to do these things is by applying it and learning through your own experiences. So back to code, right? I used to copy people's code, not in the sense where it's like I'm copying hand by hand, but like I used to watch tutorials and like follow along the entire thing. And I used to think that was the right way to do it. However, when I went back to actually coding and I tried to maybe build my own project or do it like a personal portfolio project, I couldn't. And for the same reasons why my YouTube didn't start off well because I was copying people, I was, you know, doing other people's work and getting the guidance which lacked me and which hindered me from actually learning the right way. So if you're watching this and you know, you you've been struggling or you don't know what to do in your situation where you're kind of lost. Maybe look at your life. Maybe look at what you're doing and say to yourself, am I copying people? And don't think of copying as this awful thing where it's like plagiarizing. I don't mean it in that way. I mean, are you simply relying on people too much to get to your end results? Coding like YouTube, like entrepreneurship, is a personal endeavor that is only up to you to do the work. I'm saying this and I'm saying this again. It's up to you to actually do the work, suffer and get to the end goal. It's a rite of passage in coding where you just have to suffer and endure the pain to reach your end goal. So one final example before we go, as soon as I started applying my own projects and suffering, though I failed many times, I, I began to see actual results because instead of doing these free code camp and uh, code academy lessons, which I was doing constantly, I was sitting down at my desk, learning JavaScript by building projects and trying and trying and trying again. One of my first projects was a simple uh, book tracker application where it was just a very simple HTML table where it gave the users a feature to like add books to their table. I don't have it anymore. I think I deleted it. But what that taught me was extremely valuable. Not only did I fail at it many times, the lessons that I learned from that project was things like overcoming bugs, dealing with stress and like solving problems, which is the most important thing here. Coding is just solving problems. And when you give your problems to someone else to solve, you will not learn the skill of coding again. Learning code is just solving problems. And like, you know, when you go to school and maybe you, you get answers right away to quizzes on like your practice tests, but when it's time to actually do the test, you fail because you kept relying on the practice questions. You're doing that right now. So remove the practice test answers, which is basically just tutorials and stuff like that. And just get to coding and it doesn't have to be crazy. Okay. Just sit at your computer and just start coding. And I know it's easier said than done, but just do the bare minimum of work. You can fail at this. You can fail. I told you I failed many times. Just fail, you know, openly just tell yourself, okay, I've been coding Python for three months now, and it's time to actually do some projects because I'm going to get sick of this code, maybe build a very basic application and fail openly fail and accept it. And guess what? You know, you're going to come back the next day. You're going to do some research. You're going to look online for more answers, which is good. You know, you need Google, you need ChatGPT, and you need YouTube. And by the end of it, once you solve that problem, because you will eventually, if you just constantly put in the effort, you will be a better coder, 100% guaranteed. And if you constantly do this, you will be a coder. Now, a quick disclaimer before we go, I'm not against tutorials and I'm not against lessons. I believe those are supplements to what we are learning. 
Okay, like in the gym when we go work out and we take like vitamins and we take, you know, creatine and stuff. I don't know how many people go to the gym here. Probably not many. Um, those are seen as supplements. They supplement our workout. They, the vitamins and those things don't mean shit if we don't work out. So the lessons and the um, tutorials that we're doing, they should be supplements to what we are learning via projects. So a good frame of mind is to just build shit fail or succeed at it and then supplement that by let's say let like learning with another thing so i'm, I'm going to clarify this let's say you are a python developer with like two months experience do maybe a simple program that like randomizes cards and that's going to be quite difficult for a new programmer and in the process of building that you're going to research and you're going to do lessons on that specific thing that you're building so maybe you're let's say you're building this project right try it and then once you run into an issue, do your research, do the lessons that have to do with that, watch the YouTube videos that help you solve the problem and come back and build the project. This is the only thing you need to do, okay? That's all you need to do. And this has just helped me a shit ton in my coding journey. So anyways, if you like this video, then like this video, happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.